Hey everyone, what is going on? My name is Archer Live, and welcome back to the channel. In today's Payday 2 video, I'm showing you how to complete the For the Mad Hatter achievement that has just released in this new Payday 2 update, which unlocks the Lauho Dashi outfit for your characters. So, for this achievement, you need to find four tea sets, one of which will be in each of the City of Gold campaign heists, and then you need to secure it and leave the heist. You've got to actually finish the whole job for this to count. So, once you've got the tea set, once you've secured it in a loot drop, you've got to then finish the heist. I'm going to stress that from the start. But the good thing about this achievement is there's only one spawn per heist so it is nice and easy for me to show you where the spawns are talk you through them all and then you can just get on with the achievement yourself and get the outfit unlocked because i really like it it's proper kind of like bruce lee kill bill inspired and i really really appreciate it for that i think it looks really really cool so let's get right into it and start off with the first heist which is the dragon heist now the way it works with dragon heist quite simply is you need to go into the back area where the auction room is and you'll see there's a locked door at the back of the auction room in stealth you can just lockpick the door and get straight in there in loud however which is the gameplay I'm showing for all of these, you'll see there's a barrier over the door and you've got to get a hack going on a device that you'll see on screen as I set up here so you can get that back door unlocked. Once that hack is complete, you can then pick the door open and get into this back room behind the auction house and it's actually inside of the safe. If you've got any kind of lock picking skills or C4s, it makes your life a lot easier. I don't, so I have to put a drill on it and once the drill has eventually finished, you'll see the tea set inside of the vault. It's just the same green tea set for all four heists. You're looking for the same kind of group of objects that you could pick up as a single loot bag and drop off at the loot drop off point. That's Dragon Heist bagged. All you need to do, remember, is finish the heist. Make sure you finish the heist. I'm going to stress that again. Okay, that's the first heist down. Let's move on next to Ukrainian Prisoner, which has the nicest spawn of all of them, considering it's actually the biggest map in City of Gold's campaign. All you have to do, as you can see in my playthrough here, as I walk over the wall, I go straight inside, and in this main warehouse, you go right to the back, and you'll see it under the staircase over here. Here it is. So all you got to do is secure it, and get out of the warehouse, complete the whole heist. You can't secure it till right at the very end, so you got to take it all the way with you and drop it off at the boat with Gao Fong. And you'll actually see in this gameplay, this is where I unlocked the achievement. So you'll see it dropping on my screen now before I transition, just for the sake of, you know, showing you. There it is, the Mad Hatter unlocking. That's the last one I did. So, boom, that achievement was unlocked. But now let's move on to the Black Cat heist. And in this one, it's inside of the conference room. So once you're inside here getting the handprint in loud, you can still get it in here, obviously, in stealth, but I do it in loud to make life easier. I get the handprint, and it's in this room under a table or on a lower shelf of a table so after i've shot these couple of cops go all the way over here and bada bing bada boom there it is under the table that's the third tea set secured all i gotta do is go outside and drop the loot drop off off that's english apparently and i go outside chuck it over the edge and boom tea set secured nice and easy loot secure and Cloak are trying to kill me, but he doesn't succeed. And finally, all we've got left now is the newest heist, Mountain Master. As you breach the meeting room, you will see it on the table here. You have to wait for me to turn around. I'm just looking to see if there's any extra loot. It's my first loud playthrough. But there it is. Boom. T-set secured. So then all I do is head out to where I've bought a zip line in pre-planning, the one of the bag zip lines from the bedroom, and I go and secure it over there. And once you get all four of these secured, you've got the Lauho Dashi suit unlocked with all four of its color variations. So there you go, folks. That is how you unlock the Lauho Dashi outfit for completing the For the Mad Hatter achievement in Payday 2. So thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please feel free to drop a thumbs up on the video. Show me you've enjoyed it. You'd like to see more achievement guides like this. And subscribe if you're new to stay in touch with future content. But either way, I will leave the video right here. Nice and simple tutorial. Hope that's helped you a lot. Enjoy the new outfit. Enjoy the new update. And I'll see you all very soon with some new content. Remember today to check out my news video, breaking down every Everything in the update and also my thoughts on it. Thanks to Overkill for giving me an early access to the update. And on top of that, we've got my solo stealth walkthrough of the Mountain Master Heist. Make sure you check both of those out. I'd really appreciate it. But either way, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Take it easy.